Well, we're talking about coordination compounds and we're going to talk about some terminology, uh, denticity and hapticity that's used to describe some of these compounds. So this is in the context of chelation, um, ligands that bind through more than one donor atom. So for instance, if we take this uh, hexaamine nickel complex, uh, and I'm leaving off any charge here uh, to focus on the ligands, and we donate this ethylene diamine, the ethylene diamine is bidentate, meaning it can bind through two lone pairs, not just one. Bidentate ligands in general tend to bind more tightly than monodentate ligands. You can look at that from a couple of points of view. From one point of view, it's, it's making two bonds, so it's, it's going, to, going to hang on more strongly. But from an entropic point of view, when we replace two monodentate ligands with one bidentate ligand, we're going from two molecules on the left to three molecules on the right. And one of the simpler ways of thinking about entropy is by evaluating how many molecules you have on one side of the equilibrium versus the other. And entropy drives towards the greater number of molecules. So denticity is the term that's used to describe how many donor atoms are binding to the metal at one time. So this ethylene diamine ligand is a bidentate ligand. It binds through two nitrogens. There's a symbolic nomenclature that's used. This is referred to as a kappa two donor. It's, it's binding in a kappa two mode and that kappa is just a Greek letter. The subscript two tells you how many different atoms are binding to the metal. Um, on the other hand, we've got a very similar ligand on the right that's tridentate. It's binding through three nitrogens. So it's a kappa three donor in this case. Now, hapticity is something that's so, sort of similar to denticity, but not exactly the same. And it's used when we have a number of atoms in a row donating to the metal. And this tends to happen when we have, instead of lone pairs, we have pi bonds donating to the metal. So an alkene, such as ethene on the left, has one electron pair donated to the metal, that's the pi bond, but because that pi bond is associated with two carbons rather than just one carbon, both carbons are, can be considered to be donating to the metal. They're both sharing those electrons with the metal. And we refer to that as a dihaptic donor. Or more commonly, we just use the nomenclature. We say it's an eta-2 donor. An allyl anion, on the other hand, has a pi bond. And on the very next carbon, it has a lone pair. So it actually has three atoms in a row that can bind to the metal. It's, it's trihaptic or A to three donor. And a butadiene, if it's binding through both of its alkenes on the right, actually has four atoms in a row because it has two pi bonds in a row that are all donating at the same time. So that's an A to four donor. 